How's everyone doing today? My name is Manny Ortiz, and I am a content creator based here in Chicago, Illinois. Now, when I first heard of Adobe Premiere Rush, I was really excited because, I mean, I can start a project here on my home computer, finish that same exact project on an airplane when I travel, either on my iPhone or my iPad. I love the versatility. Now, another thing that really got me hyped up was that in the in-app camera of Adobe Premiere Rush, it allows me to control my smartphone camera manually, almost like my very expensive mirrorless camera. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use those manual settings to get the best video quality possible. So when you open up the Adobe Premiere Rush app, you wanna go ahead and click the plus sign at the bottom, then press take video or photo. At the bottom, you can toggle between auto settings and pro settings. When you go to pro settings, it gives you the ability to manually change your settings. On the first tab, you're able to turn off auto exposure and then manually adjust your shutter speed and ISO. The rule is shutter speed should be double of what the frame width is. Since I'm shooting at 30 frames per second, I'm gonna leave it at 1 60th of a second. And then you adjust your ISO accordingly. Now, exposure bias is exposure compensation and you can adjust it as need be. And then you can tap the white circle to lock in that exposure. Now you can also change your white balance. You can either choose auto or you can manually change it. I like to use a warmer tone for most of my videos so I can adjust it to a warmer tone. It also gives you the ability to manual focus your shot. Now, I'm not a big fan of manual focusing. I think the cell phone does a really good job. So I'll just let it, you know, keep it on auto. The in-app camera also features a zoom slider so you can quickly and conveniently zoom in and out and adjust your frame. But for this shot, I'm gonna keep it on the wider end. All right, here you can change the resolution and the frame rate. If you want the best quality possible, you wanna go ahead and shoot at 4K. Since I'm doing an interview style video right now, I'm gonna shoot at 30 frames per second to be safe. But if I wanted to shoot some slow motion stuff, then I can use 60, which is also very convenient. On the upper left hand corner, you will see a grid icon. When you click that, there will be a grid placed over the screen to help you with your composition. Next to it is a flash icon, but that is for photography only. And next to the flash icon, you will see a flashlight. The flashlight will activate the iPhone flash to be a constant light. I don't recommend using it because it's a really small and harsh light source, but in a pinch, it can come in pretty handy. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, but most of all, I hope that now you can get the best video quality possible using the in-app camera of Adobe Premiere Rush. I also wanna send a quick thank you to Adobe. Thank you for thinking of us content creators. Uh, that's all I have for you guys right now. Uh, thank you for watching.